Hello all dancer friends, welcome back to the basement, Dino Dungeon. Today I'm going to show you guys plenty of new reptiles. Yes, check them out. I've promised you guys that we'll be expanding our reptilian creatures collection. And all of them have finally arrived. So let's take a look at all of them, okay? Let's go. Okay guys, so let's begin. The first figure, let's take a look at this one right here. What is this? Um, I think it is a chameleon But I think there is like a special name for this So let's open this up and have a look Okay Let's see what is actually written here Wow, you can see this figure It looks very very amazing The tongue is like sticking out And there's like a butterfly right here Which is pretty amazing And it says um, Starfish <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is the wrong tag, guys. This is definitely a wrong tag. This is not a starfish. This is a veiled chameleon, okay? I don't have the facts about this, you know, animal right here, but this is 100% not a starfish. So let's remove this. I think they have actually, you know, put on the, the wrong tag for this. So it's really, really funny. But you can see this chameleon looks very very beautiful it has this crest right here and there was like some blue pattern some green stripes across the body yeah very cool and the chameleon can actually stick out its long tongue to capture like little, little insects so yeah very very cool but i still can't get over the fact that they, they have actually named this as a starfish <laughs> that's really really funny but let's take a look at this. what is written right here for the starfish okay Starfish are not really fish. Yeah, uh, we, we know that, okay? <laughs> okay, let's proceed um, to the next figure. Let's see. What about this one right here? It seems to be a brown looking crocodile. So let's open this up. I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm still funny and really funny about you know, the chameleon, chameleon being named a starfish. Okay, this is actually a saltwater crocodile. Um, if I'm not wrong, this tag, which is a pretty old tag, doesn't contain any um, facts, so we can actually remove this. So this is basically a saltwater crocodile. They are actually different from like Nile crocodiles or alligators. They are in fact like the largest, you know, reptilian species out there, and they have the biggest bite force of all creatures. Yep, saltwater crocodile incredible animal let's put this right over here okay let's put all our new figures right here on the table all right let's move on what about this one another lizard let's open this up okay it seems to be a bearded dragon i mean if you take a look it is already written right here so this is a bearded lizard wow it's a really beautiful orange lizard can see the toes one two three four five five toes oh i'm sorry apologies for my long fingernails i'm gonna cut it like later on okay after this video I, I promise okay don't keep your fingernails so long because it can actually trap some dirt and germs so i'm gonna cut it cut them later on okay i promise so this is a bearded dragon yep it's a really beautiful um lizard you can see so let's read some facts about the bearded dragon okay um, it's an orange colored bearded dragon. I'm not too sure whether they are able to change its color. So let's take a look. Named for its beard like jaw pouch. Okay, this is the beard like jaw pouch bearded dragon. I think this one is, you know, is why it's named as the bearded dragon. Can you guys please let me know some facts about this? Like where they can be found and um, what kind of um, insects or small little animals do they eat? If you guys can provide me with some details, that would be really cool. But I promise in the next video, I'm going to tell you guys um, plenty of facts about the bearded dragon. Let's take a look at another lizard right here. This time, it is a veiled chameleon baby. Seems like, you know, it is the baby of this one right here because this is also called a veiled chameleon. So we should be able to get some facts about, um, you know, the chameleon from this baby figure, but hopefully they don't name it a starfish once again, okay? Let's take a look. Is this a starfish? Nope. Viewed chameleon baby, so this tag is actually correct. Cool, this is really cool. Let's take a look at this. 
They measure only a couple of inches at birth and they can grow up to 24 inches. So that's really, really cool. So this is the Vilt Chameleon. Really beautiful. And um, once they actually grow up, they become like so beautiful. I mean like even more beautiful because they're like more colors. You can even see like the stripes across the eyes. So that's pretty incredible. And you can see some patterns on his body. While it's still young, you know, the patterns are really, really simple. And they don't even have like, you know, um, fully developed toes, I think. You can see this one had, oh, the, the toes are the same, basically. Yeah, very cool. So this is a Vilt Chameleon Baby. Nice, nice, nice. Let's proceed and take a look at this huge snake right here. Okay, let's open this up. Wow, what is this? This is actually an Amazon tree boa. Wow, cool. I have no idea how big or how large it can actually grow, but this, I mean, if you guys are afraid of snake, you might be a little bit terrified when you're holding this because it does look like an actual snake, okay? So this is a Amazon tree boa. It looks very, very incredible. It looks like an actual snake. Let's take a look at um, the facts about this snake right here. Their diet consists mainly of birds and small mammals. Okay, that's a very, very, um, you know, generic kind of fact. So let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the face. Wow, it has like golden eyes. And the underside of the body is actually lighter in color. Okay, Amazon tree boa, a 1996 figure. Really beautiful. Our very first, our one and only Amazon tree boa. I love this, it looks very incredible. Let's proceed. Let's take a look at this one right here. Wow, cool. Komodo dragon, I think. Komodo dragon is actually one of my most favorite reptiles. What about you guys? Let's take a look at this. We don't have like many Komodo dragon figures. I think we have like two, two of them. So this is our third one. Really beautiful. So you can see Komodo dragon is written right below. It's a 2007 figure. Wow, looks really looks pretty um, real it's soft and like squishy and you can see the tongue sticking out yep Komodo dragon tongue they always stick out in like you know like they're hissing like a snake let's remove this piece and let's take a look at um the fact card right here and see what is written right here I enjoy reading them Komodo dragons can grow to be up to 10 feet long and weigh 154 pounds. That is very, very um, long, very, very tall, I would say, because like normal human beings, you, you grow from like six feet to like seven feet, you know, usually seven feet the most, and they can grow up to 10 feet. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Let's take a look at um, other figures, another snake right here. Let's open this up. This is a boa constrictor. I think it's different from the um, boa tree snake. Oh, it also comes with this little protective, you know, plastic holder to actually prevent it from like whopping. So let's remove this first. So this is a boa constrictor. Looks really, really beautiful. Okay, I, I know that they are really, really strong snakes. They can actually like, you know, strangle the prey, I think. Let's have a look at this. The boa constrictor likes to ambush prey and swallow them whole. Yeah, wow. So that will actually like ambush, which means that they will take their opponents, I mean not opponents, the prey by surprise. Maybe they will strangle them, they will like, you know, just swallow them. Yeah, pretty incredible. Yep. Boas can grow, you know, really, really huge and strong. So yeah, it's very, very, you know, interesting and intimidating. Next up, we have a small little cobra. We already have one cobra figure in our collection, but I think this is like a um, smaller figure. Which, uh, let's take a look at this. So this, it's a cobra. So let's have a look. 
Yep, this is the Cobra. Let's open this up and um, have a look at what is written right here. There are over 270 types of Cobras. Whoa, oh my goodness. I thought there's only like one type of Cobra, but there is actually like 270 different types of Cobras. You guys know that Cobra, they can actually spit venom. I mean, some species, not, not, not all species, I think. Yeah, very cool, very cool fact. I didn't know that. 270 different types of Cobras. Oh my goodness, that is very, very... Is that another Komodo dragon? Oh my goodness, guys. Did we like purchase? No, this is a different one. Oh yeah, that's, that's cool. I mean, I don't mind expanding our, you know, Komodo dragon uh, collection. Nothing. That is uh, very awesome. I love reptiles. Yep, this is another one. So the previous fact was basically, you know, talking about, you know, it can grow up to like 10 feet. Okay, let's have a look at this. It's a really beautiful, um, Komodo dragon. This seems more like a baby, I think. Yeah, it should be a baby. So you can see this is the um, fully grown adult. I'm not too sure. Maybe this is an adult, just a smaller size one. Komodo dragon. So let's open this up and um, have a look at what is written right here. Yeah, it's the same fact. Komodo dragons can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh about 154 pounds so that is um you know the same um fact as the previous one you can see it has like some stripes across the tail yep five toes okay yeah they can run really fast if you guys do not know they are not like slow animals they're pretty fast let's take a look at this green snake what is this actually rough green snake that's a very very weird name I mean, is there like a smooth green snake? I'm not too sure, so let's have a look at this. It is like beautifully curved into this spiral shape, okay? Looks kind of um, beautiful, okay? Looks really nice. Let's take a look at um, the facts about this. What is this called again? I've forgotten the name. Rough green snake, okay. Its diet consists mainly of insects and spiders, okay? So no little um, animals, which is, um, yeah, I mean, more consoling because, you know, I always get very frightened. I mean, I don't really like seeing snakes, like, eating up little chicks and little animals. Yeah, I mean, it's nature, but uh, yeah, I think eating insects is more more reasonable for me yeah I, I like that more okay yep so this is basically a rough green snake looks really cool wow the underside looks very very bright you can see it is like bright yellow below and the top is like you know really bright green as well and the eyes are actually like red reddish brown with a black pupil beautiful okay so that's the only fact that i know and this came off Let's put this back because I still want... I don't think I can remember the facts of any time soon. I'll probably remember it after, you know, reading it for a couple of times. We have a small little crocodile. This is known as Brony. I think this is um, the mascot of the Safari LTD. Let's take a look at this. So it's a really cute looking crocodile, I think. Or is it like a uh, um, alligator? I don't really know, so let's open this up and have a look. Brony was born on October 13, 1921 in Elberfield, Germany. Okay, I think that is like, you know, the uh, mascot for Safari LTD. So it was born in 1921. Wow, I, I don't know. I didn't know that, you know, Safari LTD has been around since 19. 21. It's a really, really, you know, old and prestigious brand, I, I guess. Next, let's have a look at this. We have a tortoise, I think. A desert tortoise. Nice, nice, nice. I think we already have one desert tortoise. Let's take a look at this. You can see it has a really beautiful shell. Okay, you can see the legs. They don't live in water. 
for sure. I mean, they are they live in the desert. Let's pop this open. Let's have a read. The desert tortoise can live up to 100 years and weigh up to 15 pounds. I think we already have this figure. I'm not exactly sure, but I think so. Yep. So you guys should know that tortoises and turtles, they actually have a pretty long lifespan. This seems to be a snake that we already have. It seems like the black toy snake, but I don't. But it's written as a um. Let's see. It's written as a chain king snake. Okay, let's take a look at this snake. Looks really beautiful. It has like golden painted eyes. So I'm not too sure whether the um actual eyes are actually golden. You can see um it is actually black in color with plenty of yellow patterns on the, across its body. The bottom is, um, you know, exactly the same. So let's read the facts. When first encountered, king snakes often hiss and vibrate their tail. Okay, so basically, when you encounter king snakes for the very first time, they will hiss and they will rattle. They will rattle their tail, vibrate their tail, like a rattlesnake, I suppose. That's pretty cool. So that's a um, chain king snake for you. It looks like the black coit snake that we already have. And our last figure is actually, I think this is an alligator. This is an alligator. Yes, it is an alligator. So let's open this up. A really beautiful one, as you guys can see. Okay, it's not like, you know, super spongy or but it's still a hollow figure yep very nicely detailed i love this we don't have uh, many alligators we only have like one white alligator so this is technically our very first uh, you know alligator um figure alligators have rounded snouts and dark coloring that that dis differentiates them from you know crocodiles so yep they have like rounded snouts right here okay which is um you know wider than a crocodile as well and they are more dark colored very cool but i think the bite frost is still lower than um the saltwater crocodile so yep basically these are the new reptiles that we have just added to our collection guys i'm gonna uh, rearrange them okay i'm gonna rearrange them to make a really nice thumbnail for you guys, okay? I'm gonna make a very nice thumbnail. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, okay? I really love you know, making all these videos for you guys. So hopefully you guys you know love it as well. So let's let's arrange them to form like a um, super cool looking um, thumbnail. You have to make the thumbnail like you know big enough, it's not too small. You know we have a brown snake right here. The, that's the um, boa constrictor, I think. No, that's the Amazon tree snake. Okay, we have the bearded dragon. Let's put the bearded dragon right here. We have Bernie. We have a. I'm gonna hide this because this tag is not not looking really nice. Okay, let's take a moto. And another snake right here. Yeah, it looks really, really good right now. I'm gonna move this away. Oops. Let's put um, another snake here. Okay. Yeah, try to make them, you know, as nice as possible so that you guys will actually, you know, like it. Because if your thumbnail is not nice, nobody's gonna watch the video anyway, right? So yeah, but I know that you guys will watch my video, no matter what. All right, yeah, I think this is like a very very nice position, um, you know, for the thumbnail. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching this, and um, yeah, in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys some new animals that we have added to our collection as well, like a maned wolf and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Tomorrow, come back for another another video. Okay, thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.